In this video, we will learn one of the simplest option strategies a trader can implement, spreads. But before getting started, if you love our efforts, do like this video and subscribe to Sensible's YouTube channel. Before we begin, let me tell you that this is the sixth episode in the options strategy series. In the first five episodes, we have covered buy call, buy put, sell call and sell put strategies in detail. And we have also compared these four strategies. Please watch the previous episodes before watching this video. You can watch those videos right here. Spreads are multi-leg strategies involving two or more options. When I say multi-leg strategies, it means the strategy requires two or more option trades and when you trade using spreads no matter what happens your loss will not go beyond a point like even if all nifty 50 companies shut overnight your loss won't cross a certain point i mean this is just an example obviously this won't happen and should not happen in today's video we are going to cover our bull call spread strategy Simply defined, a pull call spread is a cheaper call option with less time decay. But what do we mean when we say less time decay? So when you buy a naked call option, the time decay or the rate at which the option price declines due to the passage of time is very high, which ends up reducing the premium and thereby contributing to the loss you make. Whereas when you do a pull call spread, this time decay is lower, so your premium won't lose its value as fast as a naked call option, because here you will receive back some premium by selling option which reduces the net cost of your strategy. Amazing, right? Hit the like button if you didn't know about this. Spreads such as bull call spreads can be taken when your view of the market is moderately bullish. So how do we do it? As usual, there are two ways in which you can trade a bull call spread. First, open the Sensible's Strategy Builder page, go to ready-made strategy sections and in bullish strategies, you can select bull call spread. As you can see here, a bull call spread strategy is automatically added for you to analyze it. If you want to change the strikes or the expiry of the contracts, you can do it right here like this. The other way of doing this is to open the Sensible's Strategy Builder page and click on this build new custom strategy button. And from this option chain pop-up, select a call strike you want to buy and sell another call option at a higher strike which has a lower premium. Here when you buy the call option you will pay the premium and when you sell the call option you will receive the premium. So the net premium you pay will be premium paid minus premium received. The call option bought is usually ATM and the call option sold is OTM. You can choose to do it with the ITMs as well instead of ATM. Now once you have added the strategy on the builder, you can analyze it and see how this strategy is likely to perform in future using this price and time slider. In this strategy, the maximum loss you will have is the difference between the premium of the two strikes that is the net premium which is 120 minus 40 equals 80 when you multiply it with the lot size 50 you get your max loss of 4000 as you can see here the maximum profit you will have is the difference between the strike minus the net premium in this case the net premium is 80 and the strike difference is 200 as we have chosen 20100 and 20300 as our strikes so 200 minus 80 120. When you multiply it with the lot size 50, you get 6000 as your max profit that you can see here. Obviously, you don't have to do this every time. Our strategy builder tool will keep this data ready for you. Now, let's see the payoff chart of bull call spread. So here we can see that you buy your call option here at 20,100 strike and you sold your call option at a higher strike that is 20,300 by receiving the premium. Now as I said earlier, the max loss you can incur in this strategy is the net premium and you will incur the max loss when market expires below 20,100 level that is in this red zone. Similarly, you will make your max profit if market expires above 20,300 strike that is in this green area. Also, as you can see in the payoff chart, this is your break-even point. You will make some profit if market expires above the break-even and you will make some loss if market expires below the break-even. Now comes the main question, how much capital is required to take this strategy? Well, as you can see here, you will need at least 26,000 rupees in the margin to take this trade. And remember, to get the margin benefit, you should execute the buy leg first and then the sell leg. Now talking about the pros and cons of this strategy, first pros, bull call spread is a cheaper call option with less time decay. Number two, you pay the premium for your limited move only. Number three, 
थीटा डी के और दी टाइम वैल्यू डी के इज लो एज कम्पेयर टू दी नेकेड ऑप्शन बाइंग नंबर फोर यू विल गेन इफ आई वी गोज अप Now talking about the cons the only con in this strategy is it requires more margin than a naked call buying but i think it is worth it as my loss is also less than the naked call option and i clearly know my profits and loss before i enter my trade well what is the point of taking a trade where my theta dk is more my max loss is more and hence more tension right a simple and peaceful way of trading is the right way to go so guys this was our video about bull call spread strategy if you loved this video hit that like button and subscribe to sensible's youtube channel and don't forget to share your learnings from this particular video in the comment section i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye